So this all began about three years ago. Um, I started with uh, just a small spider on a remote control car. Each year I've kind of tried to improve upon the design. So using a bigger vehicle and different methods for building the spider. So this year I kind of went all out, used a Traxxas X-Max vehicle. It's mostly um, metal standoffs and a wood frame built onto the vehicle. The spray foam with different objects, balloons to use as molds and then carbon fiber and foam for the legs. So you have the head as one piece, the body as a separate piece, and then the legs. The vehicle alone weighs about 20 pounds, and so all up, uh, you're about 35 to 40 pounds on total weight. I tried to make it so it would be transportable because it's so large. Vehicle size has been an issue, short of using a trailer to move it around so I can keep it fully assembled. Otherwise, it takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to assemble. It's an RC car, so forward, backwards, and turns. Controllability is, is actually pretty easy. Last year, I had a uh, spider that would shoot silly string from a secret door. This year, uh, the eyes light up. There's uh, laser beams that come out with the eyes that point out at the ground, a smoke system that comes out of the mouth, and then a uh, soundboard that allows a, uh, a growling sound for the spider. I'm a hobbyist and so I enjoy the challenge of building and things like this where it's strictly custom is just an idea in my head and I like to be able to take that idea, build it and see something come about from that. Everybody wants to know where they can buy it, how much it costs and then when I tell them that I built it, that it's a custom project, they're, they're blown away and as trick-or-treaters come out, uh, they don't expect it to move and when they see that it moves, young kids, old adults, um, everybody kind of jumps and screams and yells. Everybody's just in awe. Little kids are running, telling their parents about the giant spider that they've seen. People want to come up and uh, pet it, touch it, and uh, just get close to it and have an interaction with it. <laughs>